Have you heard of or seen the Hill of Crosses? No? Well, let's take a journey. Tucked away in a little corner in northern Lithuania lies a place that's like no other in the world. The Hill of Crosses is filled with thousands upon thousands of crosses all woven together into legends and fables. Now this sacred place is unique not just for its size, but for its history, filled with tragedy and death and hope and redemption. Do you know that cross making is one of Lithuania's most unique crafts? So much so that it's included on the UNESCO's cultural heritage list. Located about 12 kilometers north of the city of Shaliai in northern Lithuania, the Hill of Crosses is a mysterious pilgrimage site. And the town of Shaliai was established in the early 1200s as a means to guard against the raids of the Teutonic and Livonian orders, but no one knows when the practice of leaving crosses on the hill started. Some people believe they were placed on a site of a former hill fort after the 1831 uprising during the Polish and Russian War. Various generations have gone on to leave not only crosses, but also crucifixes, statues of the Virgin Mary, carvings of Lithuanian patriots, and tiny effigies and rosaries. Although Lithuanians had been leaving crosses for a few decades, the massive numbers began to arrive in 1863 when authorities banned crosses by roadsides and in cemeteries. On April 5th of 1961, the crosses were bulldozed, crushed, and pushed down the hill, and this happened several other times over the years, but pilgrims would always rebuild their holy site, and all this time later, the crosses are still standing and multiplying. According to the local stories, a church once sat on the hill until a powerful storm buried it under sand and rock with people inside. Locals also say that a ghost procession of monks can be spotted at the foot of the hill at sunrise. Throughout the generations, magical appearances, visions of saints, and sightings of ghosts have contributed to the hill's history and lore. Today, over 100,000 crucifixes and other religious icons cover the hill, and to many, this place is so holy and sacred that I'm sure if you're there, the air just feels powerful. Who's ready for a visit?